Welcome uh, to the this talk on uh, NFA orchestration for uh, telcos using OpenStack Tacker project. Uh, my name is uh, Sridhar Ramaswamy. Uh, I'm a principal engineer working in Brocade. So let's uh, jump on uh, what this session is about. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, briefly what Tacker is uh, and some of the elements uh, of this uh, the functional aspects of Tacker. So we're going to uh, discuss a bit on that. Uh, followed by the architecture and the actual workflow of some of the features, I would actually would work. Um, followed by the list of Tacker features that we currently have. Uh, particularly, we're going to focus on what we actually built in for the Liberty, uh, and we will wrap it up with uh, what we have in the roadmap for Metaka and beyond. So, what is Tacker? So, I think many of you folks uh, might have seen this picture uh, many times. So Tacker project is a, is an OpenStack service that addresses the box that you see uh, around uh, the mano, the management and orchestration. Uh, it encompasses both the VNF manager and the NFE orchestrator uh, aspects of uh, what's prescribed in HC mano. So that's the focus of this whole uh, Tacker project. Um, though the initial, fo initial feature sets are towards the bottom, like the v VNFM. Uh, but our scope is to not to restrict for VNFM, but, but go beyond uh, uh, VNFM to the NFE orchestrator. So that's what Tacker is in, in a nutshell. Uh, in general, uh, the, the way HC Manor prescribes this, uh, we just want to uh, get, illustrate what, what they mean by VNFM and what they mean by NFEO. So this gives a sort of a rough idea of what they mean, the essential aspects of it. Uh, so basic, the one stuff on the left you see is around the VNFM. Uh, you would see the basic uh, functions like uh, instantiating uh, and terminating VNFs, um, followed typically by getting the VNF configured. So the VNF that got uh, st stood up needs to be configured uh, and sh should be up and running. Uh, followed by uh, monitoring. This is something that's called out in it. uh, it's, it's not just about getting the VNFs up, but it needs to be monitored, and uh, it, it should perform uh, for uh, what are the needs for the VNF. Uh, and beyond that, it goes into uh, healing if there is any uh, issues that happens during the life cycle of the VNF. Uh, there are other aspects that's called out in Etsy around image management, which we are not tackling yet, but that's, again, is one of the, uh, the role of VNFM. Um, uh, and again, the VNFs come in different flavors. Uh, that could be some simple one VM VNF, or it could be a complex multi-VM VNF. On the right-hand side, you see the sort of the things that goes beyond the scope of one VM VNF. One VNF is around uh, the NFE orchestrator's role is as standing up network service. Uh, this is the service that uh, a service providers want to sell uh, or like offer to their customers, but they want to stamp out that. Uh, so that's the focus of the NF NFE orchestrator. So at least that's the role uh, prescribed in Etsy Mano, where it involves uh, uh, using a collection of VNFs and forwarding graphs to stitch it to serve, uh, to provide a network service. And there are different aspects involved, like uh, it would involve placing VNFs. Uh, it might actually ask the VNFM to place a VNF in a particular space. And it, it could involve things like resource checks and uh, uh, resource considerations while making this placement decision. Again, the, 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 the higher level thing is you have a collection of VNFs put together using service chains, uh, uh, basically forwarding graphs rendered using service chains, and it's offering the network service to the customer. So these are rough two categories uh, that what it's a mano is. And that's what Tacker is trying to address these things. Uh, and we are more towards a, a left, but uh, we are planning to go do more on the NFEO in future cycles. So this is what we have currently, uh, where uh, we started out with basic features of uh, a VNFM. And we also have a VNF catalog feature where you can actually onboard your VNFs. And uh, you can use Stacker to instantiate. So basic life cycle, like a start, stop, create. Um, so again, keep in mind these VNFs could be uh, a simple VNF uh, or a complex VNF using multiple VMs. They are called VDUs in HC balance. Uh, again, a few things that we did in uh, Liberty are we have a better refined Mano API uh, that we introduced in the project in the last Liberty cycle. Uh, and we also had in enhancements during, uh, for making it easier for deployers uh, to actually parameter the, the, the templates. Uh, 
currently, uh, the by the way, everything here is orchestrated using templates. Uh, so during deployment, you can have few attributes in the templates uh, as variables and actually have, have it parameterized. That's something you can supply during uh, instantiation time. Uh, again, these are all uh, to successfully stand up a VNF, including uh, uh, injecting user data. Again, this could be an one-time data uh, configuration, perhaps, that you want to in inject. Or uh, it could be even using management drivers, where you might have a REST API for your VNF, and Tacker can facilitate uh, configuration using that. And another key thing that we introduced in Liberty is a loadable health monitoring framework. Uh, we understand VNF need to be monitored in different ways. Different VNFs need to be monitored in different ways. Uh, there are a few inbuilt monitoring that's included in Tacker, but you are uh, you can write whatever monitoring that you can you need for your VNF and in, uh, bring it into Tacker framework. So let's briefly look at uh, the architecture. Um, so this is the architecture. I know it's a fairly busy picture, but I'm going to quickly walk through what happens. So step number one is onboarding your VNF. Uh, this would involve uh, writing your templates and using the Tacker API to actually onboard it to the Tacker VNFD catalog. So now the VNF is ready to be instantiated. So that's in the second step. Um, so this, again, uh, Tacker internally uses EAT currently. That's the default driver. Uh, to instantiate the VM, uh, the VNF, in fact, it could be a collection of VM, on the VIM. And in this case, of course, it's going to be OpenStack. Uh, so once instantiated, the next step is to actually configure. So this is where the management driver framework uh, comes in, where you can actually write your own management driver for your own VNF. So you might have a configuration injected using SSH or CLI, or using REST API or other means. This can facilitate uh, that, that operation. Once a VNF is functional, you might have multiple of these VNF and needs to be chained. So currently, there is a plan to actually have a SFC driver that, in turn, current thought is to use a ODL controller to actually render the chain uh, so that the, the different VNFs can be chained uh, together. So of course, now the VNFs are up and running. They are providing the service that the operator intends to do. Uh, the monitoring driver kicks in. The, like, uh, like I said, uh, uh, the monitoring driver framework is something that you can customize for your own VNF. So this is what uh, we have. Uh, so OK, the next thing is, yeah, there could be an a event, sort of a failure event for your VNF. Uh, this could be handled by Tacker by actually either respawning, or it could be even involve uh, auto scaling. So this is something we will see uh, down the line. So that's the overall workflow of Tacker. I know it involves uh, roughly seven steps here. So, the, so what I showed you is what we delivered uh, in Liberty, right? Uh, so beyond, I want to uh, see where this project is heading, uh, give an idea of where we are, where we are going further in Metaka and beyond. So I already touched a bit on SFC, which is already under works. So that's why it's also is both in the Liberty sphere, partially have some code there, and we are actually going to wrap it up in Metaka. Uh, the other important thing that we are bringing in is uh, these other things like multi vim uh, the efficient placement of VNF, and of course, uh, so the effort that we started on auto scaling will be wrapped up. So, quickly on uh, multi VIM. So, the way it is today, Tacker can instantiate VNF. Uh, Tacker is an OpenStack service, but currently it's geared to instantiate VNFs only on itself, on the same OpenStack installation. So this something doesn't credit for operators. So based on the inputs that we received, we actually want to decouple Tacker to a, situ to a model where it can instantiate VM VNFs on any VM, any VIM, any OpenStack controller. Uh, so it shouldn't be just to uh, its local OpenStack controller. Uh, it, there could be a special case where sort of the VIM0 could be the default if, if there is only one VIM, but that need not be the case. So this is something we are working on. There is a blueprint uh, and under, we are going to start a blueprint effort in this. The, the Tacker SFC uh, work is something um, we, uh, like I said, we started uh, in the Liberty cycle. 
so there is a lot of interest from our uh, user group to actually see this in realization. Now, there's a lot of F, uh, discussion on SFC. Uh, in fact, there is a, a really good effort going in, in the Neutron community and, of course, in the Odeal community. Uh, but one challenge is uh, getting that SFC configured is, is really a, a cumbersome sort of a uh, you probably need a PhD to do that. So, so one thing that Tacker is trying to strive is as you instantiate the VNFs, we want uh, the uh, rendering the SFC should be very very easy, right? It should be uh, it should be a logical thing that you do. You 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 do after instantiating a set of VNFs. So that so we're introducing some APIs uh, modeling around classic SFC around. Uh, uh, defining the classification rules and also uh, the flow chains. Uh, we again intend to map it back to either ODL or the Neutron SFC effort that's underway. And th this is done, the current effort that we are doing is done uh, in the context of OpNFE. There is an OpNFE SFC uh, group, working group, and they are, uh, they are planning to leverage Tacker for their uh, SFC rendering needs. Uh, there's something uh, uh, currently planned for POC. There's a OpNFE summit coming up, and most likely there's going to be a demo. Uh, but again, beyond that, we hope uh, OpNFE for will use this uh, feature uh, to 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 satisfy their SFC needs in the in their community. Again, there is a, a blueprint already underway, so feel free to uh, stop by and uh, catch up on that. So. The other uh, very important thing in this whole thing is uh, placement. So at the end of the day, we want the VNFs to be uh, performant. It needs to be placed in a way where it, it gets the maximum uh, functional benefits of the VNF, which is very crucial in a virtualization environment. Again, there is a lot of effort that went in other projects, like uh, NOAA for many of these uh, computer-related uh, optimization for NFE and also in Neutron or on things like SRIOV. But we need to bring those into an easily consumable uh, uh, solution where it can be templatized. I mean, that's what Tacker is trying to solve, where many of these things can be prescribed in a template, and uh, you use Tacker to instantiate it instead of going and granularly touching every component to actually realize this uh, goal of uh, efficient placement. Again, we are planning a blueprint around this uh, in the Metaka cycle. So uh, in conclusion, um, we have a lot of things. Uh, we have built a, a decent set of features for Liberty. And uh, we have many more planned for Metaka and perhaps uh, beyond. Uh, like our goal is to eventually build a Tacker not just as a VNF manager, into an, but into an NFE orchestrator. So there is a lot of interesting work going on. So please check out the wiki page. and. Uh, there are blueprints available, and uh, if you're interested, uh, I hope you're interested to come and join us. Uh, please reach out in the IRC channel. Uh, so, and also, there is a weekly IRC meeting. Uh, feel free to stop by and uh, provide your inputs, provide your contributions. We would love to hear that. Thank you. <laughs>